Everyone hates Yoru because they don't play him right. So today, you'll learn the mistakes and their fix. Number six is key for hitting your dream rank. The first big mistake a lot of Yoru players are making that's preventing them from winning games is kill ulting. I get this comment a ton. A lot of you don't kill ult properly because you're not using your flash correctly. You want to like, you see an enemy you want to kill, you run in front of them, you throw your flash down, you just drop your clone like this, and then you die. The way to properly kill ult is to use your invisibility to set yourself up for the perfect flash. So let's say there's an enemy here and you want to kill them. You want to hide the travel time of your flash as much as possible. So throw your flash on the ground behind them. It pops directly in front of them for a full flash and then you can get a free kill. And it doesn't have to necessarily be off the ground to pop in front of them either. It can be off of a wall behind them or however, whatever you see fit. But just know that your goal is to hide the travel time of your flash as much as possible and you can kind of combine the clone with that as well. I know where you play. Oh, no. I need help. The next Yoru tech that a lot of you guys are doing incorrectly is setting up crossfires with your clone. A lot of you guys will sit in a corner like this and pop your clone down, and then you'll hear the enemy start to push B, activate the clone, they'll swing the corner, and then just kill you because they're like, well, this is where the clone came from, so obviously that's where Yoru's playing, right? And that's why you die. The fix to this is to play a crossfire with your clone. So instead, you can set up your clone on the opposite side you're playing. So let's say you're playing on this left side over here, and you want to activate, you want to set up your clone on the right side here like this. That way, when you're playing this side, the enemy is starting to push B, you activate your clone. They're starting to push sight. They see your clone. They think you're left side because that's where your clone came from. And instead, you're on the right and you get a free kill. Decoy. This is one of the most common mistakes I see your players making, and it's doing the dry TP incorrectly. So let's say you know that there's an enemy Silver there. You just see him. You want to go for a, a free kill on him magically, and you just dry TP and you die for no reason. The way to properly dry TP is to wait for utility. So this works against a lot of initiators. So Sova's or Sova's using their drones or Sky's using their dogs or Gecko using their ultimate. Any agent that is going to be occupied with utility. So the second you see their drone out, you can TP and then while they're occupied, kill them for a free kill. Because they're again, they're in their drone. They have no idea you're TPing on them. One more, here's more. Oh, Oh, that was just... You're, you're insane. The next Yoru Tech mistake that a lot of you guys are making is with your fake clones. When you guys go for fake clones, let's say this chamber opting up here, and you guys go for fake clones, you don't even condition the enemy. You just fake clone like this. You go for like the crazy play, just hoping it magically works, and that they will just magically fall for it and not react and shoot you. The fix to that is to use your clones consistently at the start of the round. So let's say you know there's an enemy chamber playing here or somebody holding this angle. You can condition them with your clone, the real clone, right? And they'll keep shooting it over and over, right? That's one round. And then the next round, you do the same clone, right? They'll shoot it again. Second round, right? So every single round, they're shooting this clone over and over again. And then eventually you can go for the fake clone because they're so used to it being your real clone, they won't fall for it this time. And you can sneak past the entire enemy team or past the upper and get a free kill. Another big mistake a lot of Yoru players are making is not signing up for the Yoru Masterclass. There is more and more people joining every single day and reaching all of their rank goals, and that could be you too. Click the link in the description. It's 50% off right now. I'll see you inside. Another big mistake a lot of you Yoru players are making with your fake flashes is not fake flashing correctly. So let's say there's an enemy here and we wanted to do a fake flash. A lot of you are just throwing your flash to the right side. You don't really care where it's at. You're just throwing it to the right side in general and the enemy isn't falling for it and you're dying. The proper way to do that would be to throw the flash as if you were actually peeking it, right? So that would look something like this. I would maybe throw a ground flash there. The enemy would look to the right and fall for it and I'm actually peeking left, faking my position and getting a free kill. So act as if you were actually to throw that flash on the right side, but peek left instead. 
Bro, I can't see. <laughs> She's near yellow. I don't know. I don't know. She thought I was behind her with the flesh. The next big Yoro tech mistake I see a lot of you making are with your flank ultimates. So, first of all, a lot of you guys don't even go for flank ultimates. But when you do, you're not sneaking past the entire enemy's utility. And you're always getting detected and not getting a proper sneaky flank off. And that applies to any Sentinel utility. It could be KJ Alarm Bot, it could be KJ Turret, it could be a Cypher Trip, anything. The fix to this is to maybe like at first do a jump peek to see if you even have to pop ult that early. It's pretty safe to just pop ult right off the, the wall drop just to like keep it extra safe if you really want to. But if you can, give yourself a little bit of time and then pop your ult late until you get closer to give yourself more time to get past the Sentinel utility and get a proper flank off. And then once you see some enemies here like this, then on ult and get a free kill because you got past all the sense of new utility and they have no idea you even flanked. Permission of this group leader? Nothing be, nothing be, it's all mid A. Maybe it's just all A actually. Get inside. I got nothing mid either. Wait, this pathing is perfect. One's uh, here, here. Oh my god, heaven. Two two nice. Nice. Oh. The next big mistake a lot of you guys are making are with your pop flashes. So most of you, when you go for a pop flash and you're not doing it wrong and you're wondering, how is the enemy turning and actually killing me? It's because your pop flashes are looking something like this. You're throwing your flashes from the front of the smoke, not hiding the travel time as much as possible. The enemy's turning from it and then they're killing you. Instead, what you want to do is not be so close to the front of the smoke here, but more towards the center. Maybe not directly in the center, because you want to give yourself time to travel, but closer to the center. Look directly at the ground, throw the flash, hiding the travel time as much as possible in the smoke distance, making it almost undodgeable for the enemy for a free kill. Plays like that in pro play. Because, like... Well, that was, that was kind of nasty. <laughs> the next big mistake that a lot of Yoro players make is not doing the Yoro updraft properly. So a lot of you can get the clone here, right? You can get the corner and you go for this jump here, but you're all jumping way, way too early and you need to jump later. The fix to that is to set up the same clone angled a little bit to the left. That way it falls towards you. Get in the corner and there's no precise exact jump here. I like to do like one small jump to the left maybe. But really what it comes down to is the timing of the jump as the clone is falling off. So the goal is to jump inside of your clone and place your TP down while your body is in contact with your clone's body. So it looks something like this. There we go. And that is how you do the updraft properly. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the masterclass. Link in the description.